Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my memory spread for the week of September 14th through the 20th and I will be using this really pretty kit from Sadie Stickers. This one has rose gold foil, which I don't use very often, but I do think it's really pretty for the fall season and I actually picked this up back in spring and I had just held on to it because um, I feel like these colors are definitely very appropriate for fall as well. So yeah, I am planning to finally use this kit for this particular week. This kit is called Terracotta and here are the nine full boxes. This quote box in the center says, in a field of roses, she is a wildflower. On the second page, we have these appointment labels and quarter boxes, some build do stickers and habit trackers. We have half boxes, bow checklists, and then a Monday through Sunday box. Um, this next page is foiled, as you can see. We have some foiled headers at the top, some bow check flags, a ton of these layering icons. We've got some half boxes and quarter boxes. And then the last page here has the date covers, which I think is so pretty. We've got the two strips of washi, some like horizontal, bow flags. We have some more quarter boxes, or I think these are actually third boxes. They look a little bit bigger and then additional um, foiled headers on the side. So we have lots of stickers to work with. I really love Sadie stickers formats. I feel like there are always so many boxes to work with. And yeah, I just feel like her kit structure works really well with my planning style. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be working with today. If you're interested in seeing me plan with this kit, then stay tuned. And as usual, I'm gonna start by placing down my bottom washi. While I'm placing down the bottom washi, I just wanted to let you guys know that this video is going to be a leftovers giveaway. So if you're interested in the chance to win some leftover stickers, um, please leave a comment down below that says leftovers or leftovers giveaway. Just something that lets me know that your comment is an entry. I'll leave it open for a week and it is open internationally so anyone can enter. I usually throw in an extra stack of D stash stickers along with the leftovers. Um, so you will be getting like a ton of additional stickers as well. And if you use like an Erin Condren or a similar sized planner, I also have some de-stashed kits that I'm happy to share as well. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what I usually include and you can find more information about that in the description box below. Now moving back to my spread, I've pretty much laid down all the stickers for my sidebar. Um, as usual, I'm tracking my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. That shoe sticker, I believe, is from Paper Muse Crafts. I just got those in and I think they're super cute. And then the happy moments and the dinner script sticker are both in my writing and they're from Planner Just For You. That foiled utensil sticker I pulled in for my dinners is also from Paper Muse Crafts. And now I'm just going in to place down all of my date covers. And I couldn't find any rose gold foiled date dots in the days that I needed, so I decided to write in the dates myself. Once I'm done placing all of that down, I go ahead and start on Monday. The first thing I place down on Monday is a foiled header that came with a kit. And I really love this like pinky earthy tone. I think it's so pretty and it matches the bottom washi. Then I used a quarter box with a piece of deco and a coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I made some Dalgona coffee that morning. I worked from home on Monday, so I marked that using an arrow sticker that came with the kit and also that foiled work from home script, which is from With Love Sticker Co. To mark a meeting that I had that morning, I placed down this bow paperclip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. And then I used a full box underneath that. I then placed down a quarter box to mark another meeting that I had that afternoon. And to mark the meeting, I pulled in this really cute pen sticker from Little Star Plans. I'm definitely running low on those and they're some of my favorite pen stickers. I just think they're both cute and elegant at the same time. Um, so they match a lot of different spreads. And um, then underneath that, I decided to use a checklist. I did have to kind of cut down the checklist to make it fit in the remaining space. And um, I just marked some things that I did that evening. That YouTube sticker is new in my collection and I believe it's from the Pretty Pink Co. On Tuesday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then to cover up the gray header, I initially placed down this green foiled header, but I do end up switching it out. You'll see that in a second. I then move to the very top, and I start by placing down another foiled header. Then I used a flag sticker with another work from home script from With Love Sticker Co. Tuesday was my last day working from home. It was definitely very bittersweet because I've really enjoyed working from home. It was an experience I never thought I would have as an educator, but as 
much as I enjoyed it, I feel like it definitely took a toll on my mental health. Um, just being home all the time and feeling less productive than I am um, when I get to be on site. So yeah, I don't know. I definitely have mixed feelings about that. But anyways, then I move back down to the bottom of my day and I start placing down some stickers so I know how much space I have left to mark the things that I wanted. And on that post-it note sticker, which is from Hazel Sticker, I use that to mark a meeting that I had in the morning. And again, that pen sticker is from Little Star Plans. On the quarter box, I put down a puzzle sticker from Planner Just For You to mark that I did some puzzles that day. And I also used a little heart icon inside and that's from the Pretty Pink Co. That foiled bow I had placed down is from Nikki Plus Three and I used that to mark a friend coming over that day. And then on the half box, I placed down this makeup sticker from Chasing Chels to mark that I did my weekly Zoom costume party with a group of my friends. And for this week, we were celebrating one of the girl's birthdays and she had decided on a campy themed birthday zoom so that's what we did it was definitely very fun um, getting to do like crazy makeup and um, I used like loofahs as part of my costume to make it like really really campy looking and yeah it was definitely a fun theme and this is where I ended up removing that header on top of the full box instead I cut up a part of the full box that I wasn't planning on using and I just used that to sort of extend the full box on Tuesday Moving on to Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, then placed down that green foiled header I had lifted up earlier. On that quarter box, I put down a glasses sticker from the Pretty Pink Co. to mark a morning meeting that I had, and then I had an IEP meeting that afternoon, so I decided to mark that using a foiled IEP flag from Jador Planning. Underneath that, I placed down an appointment label and used a laptop sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark another meeting that I had. It was a very busy day. I think I was at work for like nine and a half hours that day, so I was just super exhausted by the time that I left. Um, I did stop by to grab some groceries and check my P.O. box before I got home, so I used a grocery icon from Hazel Sticker to mark that. On the half box that I placed down at the very bottom, I used a TV icon from The Pretty Pink Co. to mark that I watched the show I'm Sorry, and I also put on the box that I had done the fifth day of my yoga journey. I was trying to do 30 days of yoga, but I think I got to like day eight and um, it just hasn't really worked out, so we'll see if I can pick it back up. Moving to Thursday, I first placed down a quarter box at the very top. That bow paper clip sticker is from the Sticky Fingers Co. And again, I used that to mark a meeting. And um, then I placed down a full box where I knew I wanted it in the middle of the day. I placed down a quarter box on top of that because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then in the remaining white space, I used a box sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that I spent some part of the day setting up a testing space um, where I would start to assess students as I usually do for my job. Um, we've had to put things on hold for a while and now we're getting back into it, which is super exciting. And the laptop sticker I just placed down is from Nicole Hutch Designs. Moving underneath the full box, I used that half box to mark that I did yoga again that day. I was on day six and still going strong at this point. I don't really have a lot of yoga stickers and I couldn't find one that matched this kit. So I decided to use this workout shoe sticker from Paper Muse Crafts. At the very bottom, I just wanted to mark that we had some beers and watched I'm Sorry, which has been one of our favorite shows recently. And to mark that, I used a flag sticker from the kit and a beer bottle from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. On Friday, I first placed down a full box at the bottom, then I used a foiled header on top of that, and I felt like this one matched pretty well because they were both green, so it again kind of just looks like an extension of the full box. Then moving to the top of Friday, I first placed down a foiled header and used an appointment label underneath that. I marked that I grabbed a pumpkin cream cold brew that morning, which is my favorite fall coffee drink, and that foiled heart sticker is from the Pretty Pink Co. On Friday, I decided to grab some lunch off campus. Um, so I placed down a flag sticker with a takeout box from Once More With Love. I couldn't decide if I wanted Panda Express or if I wanted to try the new McDonald's spicy chicken nuggets. So I decided to get both and it was the best idea ever. It was so good. I have zero regrets. So if any of you guys are like me and end up craving both of those things, I highly recommend the combo. Moving back to my spread, I placed down a half box with a bow from Nikki Plus Three to mark the very, very sad news of the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. It was definitely a huge blow, um, not only to myself, but honestly to all the women out there who have 
benefited from all the things that she's fought for for us and now unfortunately is at stake for being taken away. So that was definitely very devastating news to receive and um, I definitely had a really good cry. And then I watched um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's Instagram Live um, where she kind of talks about how we can honor her legacy by um, you know, voting and campaigning and just staying active and fighting for the things that we believe in. Um, so that was really uplifting and definitely something that I needed to hear. The foiled heart sticker I put down to mark that is from Hazel Sticker. And then my boyfriend and I watched a movie that night. So I marked that using a TV icon from Nicole Hutch Designs with another little heart from the Pretty Pink Co. Moving on to the weekend, I first placed down a full box at the top of Saturday, then I placed down a foiled header with an appointment label, um, but I decided to remove the header, I think, because I was worried that I would not have enough space to mark everything I wanted. Um, so on the appointment label, I marked that I had a lazy morning on Saturday. The sleeping mask sticker is from Simply Said Life. I just picked those up. I've been getting a ton of foiled icons lately, as you will see in a haul that I'll be posting soon. Um, then underneath that, I used a large planner sticker from my newest addiction with a YouTube binge sticker in my writing from Planner Just For You to mark that I watched a ton of Plan With Me's that morning. I then placed down a quarter box with a shoe sticker, which is also from Simply Said Life, to mark that I did day eight of my yoga. And then on the half box, I wanted to mark that my boyfriend and I finally did a date night. It's been our first date night in so long, um, and it was very exciting getting to finally go out and have some beers and some food. Um, the date night script sticker is from Panda Bird Designs, and that beer sticker is again from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. At the bottom, I used a pillow sticker. I think that's from Planning Like a Pro, just to mark that we had some more beers when we got home and just pretty much chilled out for the rest of the night. Moving on to Sunday, I first placed down a header at the very top, then I used a quarter box with this really sleepy girl from Artbox stickers to mark that I felt really sleepy that morning. I was just really tired and, you know, just kind of the Sunday blues. Um, then I decided to use a checklist underneath that for some of the things that I did that morning. One of the things I did was a workout, so I decided to use another shoe sticker from Simply Said Life. I then placed down a full box underneath that, and then I used a half box to mark that I did an end of summer picnic with a few of my friends. Um, it was really fun getting together and enjoying some great food and great company. Um, that picnic sticker is from Happy Sherpa Papery. And then in the remaining space at the very bottom, I placed down a flag with a phone sticker from the Pretty Pink Co. to mark that I did a Zoom chat with a different group of friends that evening. While looking over my spread, I decided there was too much of that orangey, earthy color in that space by Saturday and Sunday, so I decided to switch out the quarter box in the middle of Saturday for this like olive green toned one instead, um, just to kind of add variety to the color, and I just replaced that sleeping mask sticker from Simply Said Life. That is it for my week, so I go ahead and move back to my sidebar. Um, I tracked my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners, and I'm super proud of my workouts this week. I counted all my yoga days as workouts, even though sometimes it was a lot more laying around than it was like actually working out, but I decided to count it anyway since I put in that time. Um, so yeah, that is it for this spread. I'm just quickly showing you guys the leftover stickers that I have now, and then doing a Viv Wiggle to show you guys all the foiling, which I think turned out so, so pretty in this spread. Here's a quick walkthrough so you guys can see some of the foils and some of the details a little bit better. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This was really fun to put together because like I said, Sadie stickers kits just work really nicely with my planning style. And I always have so much fun putting everything together. And don't forget, if you're interested in winning some leftover and de-stash stickers, please leave a comment down below to indicate that you are entering the giveaway. And I will choose a giveaway winner next week. And that's pretty much it for this week. So um, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.